In the Evening by Robert Schumann, the first of eight piano pieces called Fantasy Pieces for the Piano, Opus 12. I believe that in order to understand and appreciate Schumann's music, it makes sense to know about the fact that he called his personalities Eusebius and Florestan. Uh, Eusebius is a character that is dreamlike, that is very calm and introverted, very quiet at times, and the opposite Florestan, a character that is very exuberant and energetic, sometimes too much to, to bear. And so in the fantasy pieces by Schumann you can follow those traits of Eusebius and Florestan. I guess he invented those characters when he was a music critic founding his newspaper and writing about other composers' pieces. And instead of signing the music review with Robert Schumann, he would sign them with Eusebius and Florestan, depending on maybe how he liked the piece. So the first piece that I played an excerpt of uh, in the evening is a very calm piece, so you could say this was Eusebius speaking. The next piece is called Aufschwung in German, a piece that you could translate as upswing or soaring, and it's definitely the language of Florestan. <laughs> finished, this is the place where Eusebius calms down Florestan, at least tries to. The next piece is called Why, an unusual title for a piece, but you hear a question and that question doesn't seem to be answered at all throughout the piece. intimate piece that is definitely the world of Eusebius and you can hear in the different voices, in different layers, the question mark, why so much commotion? An answer actually to the previous piece by Florestan. Now we come to a piece called Whims and I believe these are very happy whimsical ideas that Schumann expresses here. Thank you. 
and so on. As you can hear, there are many smaller types of melodies, a bunch of different ideas that he has. And so obviously that underlines the character of whimsical ideas. Now we come to a piece called In the Night, a strong contrast to the previous piece. I would say it's not just in the night, it is a nightmare. Let me give you a sample. <laughs> the music is so tumultuous and you hear almost like an ocean wave uh, running. Uh, some people say that this piece is based on the legend uh, of the Greek legend um, Hero and Leander. It could be very true but in any case even though you have this quite a middle section <laughs> of this ocean wave or this uh, impatient playing never really recedes in the, in the piece. Now we come to a piece that is probably very happy and lighthearted and it's called Fable. As we know fables are animal stories and you can imagine here Eusebius narrating a story and then you actually hear animals I personally believe that maybe these are gazelles uh, running in Africa somewhere and in the middle of the piece you have predators lurking around the, the bushes. So here's Eusebius opening the fable.
So maybe there was a happy end and the predators did not eat up all the gazelles. Fable by Robert Schumann. The next piece is called Dreams Confusion, Traum is Wurren. And again, it's a very lighthearted Florestan who is very exuberant. And it's a, it's a fantastic piece that is also quite a challenge uh, technically. <laughs> very outgoing, very lighthearted. Now we come to the conclusion of this collection of fantasy pieces and you would assume that Schumann would end with some triumphant concluding statement and it sounds very much like it. It's called the end of the song. <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear this. So when you play this co whole collection, fantasy pieces, the pianist and the audience have gone through a long journey through the night. A wonderful romantic contribution to piano music that Schumann is so famous for. <laughs> 